There is a local restaurant that definitely catches your eye when you drive or walk by, but have you ever wondered about the story behind it? Ryan Laughlin shares why it truly demonstrates the heart of New Mexico. This unusual restaurant. The Michael's restaurant is a different kind of restaurant. Comes alive every Tuesday night. It's jazz night at Ben Michael's. As we welcome to the stage Hayden to sing. And Ben Michael does it all. Uh, wash the dishes. <laughs> I like it all. Because it starts from mopping, to washing dishes, to cooking food. And you guys know, people show up, I'm the waiter, and then after I finish waiting, then I go cook their food, bring out your food, and after that I try to play some music. But this wasn't always the plan. People come in here and you kind of like, you just don't sit down and eat, you sit down and you talk to your neighbor. Before the music, dancing, and food, there was another plan. When I went to college, I wanted, actually wanted to be an architect. A professor came up to me and says, you're, you're not smart enough to be an architect. And kind of like blew my bush in my bubble, dude. I was like, really, dude? He became a pharmacist. But he always had a passion for people. Back in the day, he would say, let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. <laughs> and so I took that aspect to heart. His dad knew a lot about feeding a neighborhood. My father had a grocery store. It was uh, right across street from the South Broadway Cultural Center. It was called Ben's Food Market. The building is still there. It opened as a grocery store in the Borellis neighborhood in 1956. So I got to grow up in that business of, of, of a grocery business and, and meeting people and, and getting to know your neighbors. Your neighbors would come in and they'd all come in and they'd share. and. Sometimes neighbors would come in and bring my dad a six pack of beer and they'd share a beer and how you doing? Bringing a community together runs in the family. However, this particular jazz night was right before coronavirus changed our world forever. I realized that how fragile we all are. Jazz nights stopped. I learned a sense of appreciation and humility of uh, how important that really is for all of us. Ben Michaels sat empty for months. We as a human race need each other. We all need a touch, we need a love, we need kindness, we need to interact with each other. But a change of plans would not change his mission. And like, I remember my dad always told me growing up is, he would kind of let me do what I want to do, so, but he always said, but Michael, don't embarrass your family do right with your family. This restaurant? My dad, actually, when I first opened up, my dad was my first dishwasher. And then my mom was my waitress. Was built brick by brick. No architecture degree needed. It's a building that I built uh, about 29 years ago. Made 8,000 adobe bricks. Um, made all the doors, carved all the beams, went to the mountains, cut all the aspens down. Every detail was crafted by the tools he got from his family. This is my grandfather's draw blade. A draw blade is what you use to peel bark off a, off a, a tree. So when you want to put vegas up or so I, I'm real proud of it because this is the only tool I got from him. Building a business and a community. Thank you for coming tonight. Welcome back. Yeah, she's a good person. See you next week. The way his father did. I hope my dad really was proud of me. I hope he you know, loved me. And, was, and my mom said, yeah, he did. And it was just a soft-spoken way what he did. Ben Michael's dad died 10 years ago. My father was a good, funny man, you know. Um, he was really loved. But he's not gone. On the wall Ben Michael built hangs a picture. His community, his father, and the family before him. I look at the, the wall and I go, man, I hope I make you guys proud, you know, you guys, and I hope you're enjoying the music tonight, you know, from heaven. Now his community has returned, helping him keep the doors open.
Tuesday night jazz nights look like they always did. It's really neat because I've continued, to, by the grace of God, to continue to have a business and to uh, offer probably the same things they wanted to offer to people and that they probably did offer to people and to continue that same sense of small business but big heart. Showing a change of plans doesn't always mean a change of course. With this Heart of New Mexico, I'm Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.